For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Last month in a referendum, Chileans voted to draft a new constitution. This was the result of months of youth-led protest which began in October 2019. Now, the protesters are back on the streets demanding the freedom of those who were arrested last year. On November 3rd, a massive demonstration was held outside the San Miguel prison in Santiago demanding the release of these political prisoners. The prisoners have spent about a year in preventive detention. The protesters have also demanded an immediate resumption of visits for inmates in prisons throughout the country. These visits have been suspended since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic in March this year. The protest taking place outside the prison was also joined by the prisoners inside. They waved flags through the windows of their cells and hit the bars in a show of strength. A similar protest was held on October 30 in Santiago. Police responded with water cannons, tear gas and more arrests. According to the data issued by the National Institute of Human Rights, in Chile, between October 2019 and March 2020, 31 protesters have died, 11,389 arrested, 3,838 severely injured, 460 suffered eye injury and vision loss, 617 tortured and threatened, 257 sexually harassed, and 1,278 faced excessive force. Many legislators from various left-wing opposition groups led by the Chilean Communist Party have presented a bill of reparation and compensation for victims of state violence. Camila Vallejo, a communist deputy in the Congress, pointed out that the country is in debt to thousands of people who died or sustained lifelong injuries and trauma. Senator Alejandro Navarro of the Progressive Party also announced that he will be presenting a bill in the Senate to provide amnesty to political prisoners accused of crimes that they did not commit and have suffered abusive preventive detentions.